Welcome back to In Layman's Terms, the YouTube channel where we break down complex concepts into simple explanations. Today we're going to tackle the term subordinate clause and show you how to use it in five different complex sentences. So, what exactly is a subordinate clause? Well, think of it as a supporting player in a sentence. It provides extra information and is not able to stand alone as a complete sentence. Using a subordinate clause can make your sentences more interesting and sophisticated. Let's dive into some examples. Although I was tired, I decided to go for a run. Here, the subordinate clause, although I was tired, adds additional information about the speaker's state of exhaustion. Since it was raining, we decided to stay indoors. The subordinate clause, since it was raining, explains the reason behind the decision to stay indoors. I will study hard unless I get distracted by my phone. The subordinate clause, unless I get distracted by my phone, presents a condition that may affect the speaker's ability to study. He couldn't go to the concert because he had to finish his homework. The subordinate clause, because he had to finish his homework, provides a reason for his inability to attend the concert. She went to the library after she finished her chores. The subordinate clause, after she finished her chores, shows the sequence of events. So, in simple terms, a subordinate clause is like a supporting character in a sentence. It adds extra information and cannot stand alone as a complete sentence. By using subordinate clauses, you can make your sentences more sophisticated and convey complex ideas. To use a subordinate clause, just remember to connect it to the main clause using words like although, since, unless, because, or after. And there you have it, the concept of subordinate clauses explained in a simplified way. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more simplified explanations. Thanks for watching and keep exploring the power of words.